Good to see you guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Roy and I design and build 3D printers. Do a lot of prototyping and testing. If you are interested in 3D printers, subscribe for more content on upgrading or building a 3D printer. This video, we are going to look at the new extruder I designed. Currently just released, version 1 released on GitHub. Link to the files down below. Also all the parts you need, link down below. This extruder prints very easy without support. It's only 150 grams in total, including the motor. So let's go to the assembly video. Here's the drawing for the new extruder. This is also on GitHub. Then start off by cleaning the parts. Take off the rough edges and the stringing, and then you can make sure that the collet fits and also the PTF tubes. Then you will need some drill bits, one 2mm, one 3mm and one 5mm. We are going to make sure that all the holes are the right dimensions. So 2mm for the filament path, 3mm for the screws and 5mm for the spur gear axle. When drilling the holes, you can start off by running the drill backwards. Uh, if this does not work, then run it the right way around. For the deeper extrudes, you typically want to run it the right way. If you have a countersink, you can use that on the edges. Now you can insert the four M3 nuts, three in the front and one M3 nut in the base. On the front part, there is <coughs> one M3 for the latch tightener and two M3 nuts on the underside for attaching the base. In the base, there's one M3 for the screw that goes into holding the latch. Just make sure that the nuts are aligned uh, properly. Now you can assemble the bearings. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to use an M5 and a couple of washers and you can press them in place. So one in the front and one in the base as well. Same procedure. Also use a nut here to press it in. Now you can just test the bearing and the spur gear. Make sure that everything runs smooth. So this is how I drilled the filament path, making sure that it's 2mm to fit the 175mm filament and running the drill backwards. Then check the filament path, make sure that the filament runs smooth through the holes. Now just fine tune the latch so the filament gear runs smooth without being loose. Assemble the filament gear to the latch. Make sure that you have the two small bearings inside and then insert the pin. Prepare the base in the same manner as the front and then we can assemble the three parts. Here is the base with the nut for the latch screw and also the bearing for the spur gear. Put the spur gear into the base and then you can put the base into the front.
tighten the bottom two M3 by 10 screws. Add the M3 by 25 for holding the latch, just barely inside the nut so we can get the latch inside. Add the latch and then screw all the way through. Make sure the latch can move without any restrictions. Also check that the gears move freely. Align and tighten the grub screw in the filament gear. Now you can test insert a piece of filament just to check that everything here runs uh, as it should. Then you can add the spring which I did not have in this example and the M3 by 30 or M3 by 35 depends on the spring length for tensioning the latch. Then test inserting a filament piece again. Use your finger on uh, the spur gear for this. Add two M3 by 30 for attaching the motor. Before adding the motor, we want to run in the gears and uh, the extruder by adding the motor dummy. You can also print this. There's two dummies, one for a bearing, and if you don't have a bearing, uh, print the one without the bearing. Add a pinion to an M5 screw, attach the filament dummy, and then run the M5 screw with the drill. Run this for a while back and forth, so we are sure that everything just runs smooth. Now you are on the final stretch and it's time to add the motor and in the end there will be a preview of the new tool head, the Triquetra tool head, so keep watching until the end. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this extruder and the new tool head or anything else you want to talk about, let me know. See you guys soon.